Hi everyone! Today's video is all about bringing your new guinea pigs home, which I know is so exciting, but the behaviours that you should expect to see and why, and then we'll run through five steps that you can take to help your new piggies settle in and start that all-important taming process. One of the questions that I get asked most is from people who've just bought or adopted their new guinea pig. They'll say things like, my guinea pigs are scared of everything, they won't come out their hidey hut, they aren't eating, or drinking and they run away every time I come in the room. Are they okay and what can I do to help them? First things first, don't worry. If that sounds like your guinea pig, then this kind of reaction to being brought home and put in a completely new environment is completely normal, especially in baby piggies and especially if you've bought them from a pet shop. If you missed my last video and you haven't got guinea pigs yet, or you just want to learn a little bit more about the different places that you can get guinea pigs from, then check out that video. I'll put it in the cards now, and it's also down in the description box to watch later. So it's pretty normal for guinea pigs to be scared when they arrive home. And if we put ourselves in their little piggy shoes and we can see why. If you imagine you're a baby guinea pig in a pet shop, you've already been taken away from your mom and put somewhere completely new, and then just as as you're starting to make friends with the other guinea pigs in the pen, you're taken away again and put somewhere else that you don't know or recognise. And now imagine the difference between having another guinea pig there versus being completely alone. I'm sure you'd rather have the extra company, right? I know I would. And that's just one of the many reasons that we should always keep guinea pigs in pairs or small groups and not on their own. They are herd animals and at the end of the day, safety in numbers is a pretty big deal for them. Even if you do have other guinea pigs though, it's still a lot for baby piggies to go through. So for example, when I brought little Lyra home, okay, you can't see her at the moment. She's hiding in the wooden tunnel behind me. So when I brought Lyra home, I don't think she was really well socialized where she was before. So she she was so scared and so timid. And there she is. She's very shy. I think she's going to be a bit of a shy one. First impressions. Yeah, whose baby is that? I was genuinely worried that she wasn't getting enough to eat or drink. And it was such a contrast to Twiggy, who was such a brave, confident and cheeky little baby guinea pig. But that's probably because she was born in a rescue and adopted with her mommy, Willow, so she was bound to be less afraid than poor little Lyra. As well as the stress of moving home, the reason why guinea pigs are scared is because of their instincts. So as we know, they are prey animals and they're basically programmed to be on high alert to always escape from predators. And because they don't have great eyesight, their instinct to run away is really strong, even if whatever's caused them to run away isn't meant to be threatening at all. Practically any unexpected movement or sudden noise can make them dash for safety. I know I I still sometimes catch my guinea pigs off guard, say when I come into the room or I, even I just move my arms in a certain way and that'll still make them run away and it just leaves you thinking, oh piggies. But basically it's because of their inbuilt instincts that they do this. Their other reaction is to freeze, which is also known as the unresponsive prey reflex. And they basically do this when they think the predator us has caught them and there's no escape. Their only chance of surviving is to pretty much play dead and hope that the predator gets bored and leaves them alone. And as an owner, you'll come to know what will scare them and what won't. The whole taming process is a two-way thing, so both you and your guinea pig are learning how to behave around each other. Okay, so let's get stuck into the five steps to follow to bring your guinea pigs home in the least scary way possible. And the first two are about being prepared and getting ready in advance as well. First up, think about the journey home for your new piggies. Use a pet carrier or a safe medium-sized cardboard box with a lid on so they've got space to move around but they can also feel safe in an enclosed dark space. Line it with newspaper and put plenty of hay in there or you could even put a blanket or a cuddle sack or something for them to hide in amongst. Remember, they're going to be stressed so they probably won't eat or drink. But in case they do, then it's important to have it on hand if they want it. That's why the hay is so important as well. If it's going to be tricky, then I probably wouldn't try and attach a water bottle. But what you can do, especially for long journeys, is to have some fresh vegetables on hand. Something like cucumber, which baby piggies like, and it's got a really high water content. 
Also, make sure the car isn't too hot or too cold and don't have the radio or the music on. Secondly, have the new cage all set up and ready for when you get home. So fresh food, fresh hay and fresh water. You basically don't want to extend that stressful journey time any more than you have to. And what's really important is to make sure you've got hidey houses in there. I know we're all desperate to see our new piggies when we bring them home, but try not to mess with the hideys and don't take them out. Any effort to make them come out into the open is just not going to work and they will try their hardest to find alternative hiding places. The next stage is to leave them be for a few days, so try not to stroke them and don't handle them. You can talk to them and watch them, but not for too long. And when you are around them, try not to be a predator. <laughs> and by that, I mean, try not to loom over the cage too much and don't stare at them as if you're going to pounce on them. <laughs> Actually, ignoring them could be the best way to show them that you don't mean them any harm. And really, you're not that interested in them, even though, of course, we are. We want them to love us so much. And what your guinea pigs will be doing is listening carefully to make sure there's no human around and then sneaking out and going and getting something to eat and drink. But if you are really worried like I was with Lyra then I would maybe put in a small pile of hay, maybe some pellets and, and even a few vegetables if you want to inside the hidey hut with them so at least they've got the option of eating undercover. And the next day look for signs that they have been active so have a quick scan for poops around the cage. Pooping is the best sign that they are eating normally. If if there are no poops and you are getting really worried about them then you can always take them to the vet. Of course if you're one of the lucky ones and your new guinea pig is naturally confident and really outgoing and is coming up to you when you're doing the feeding and cleaning then you can skip this initial step. Right so after a few days of being left alone the bonding can begin. <laughs> Start off by trying to encourage your guinea pig out by offering it treats. And guinea pigs always get on best with simple treats that are based around hay and vegetables. So I'm thinking maybe dried carrot or dried apple. And if they won't take the treats right away from you, then you can try putting them on the floor in front of them and watching them kind of tentatively creep out and take them. And when they do, you can start trying to pet them in the cage. Always approach with your hand from the side where they can see it with their kind of wide vision. Never from directly above because then you're like, an eagle coming down to get them or something scary. Uh, so from the side and I'd probably touch them maybe the top or just down the neck a little. I have also read that touching them on their ears is actually a way that guinea pigs bond with each other. So if you try and touch them on their ears you could be saying that you're just a big friendly guinea pig who wants to be friends. So maybe after a week or a couple of weeks you'll be ready to start handling your guinea pigs and yes they are going to run away from you. But there are various methods that you can try to make it easier and less stressful for them. A great one for starters is to encourage them into a cuddle sack or even something like a beanie hat and then scoop up the whole thing with them inside. Lap time is such a wonderful way to bond with your piggies so try and do it often. When you have them out you can hand feed them, you can pet them and over time and they'll realise that you're nothing to be scared of. And if you've had your guinea pigs for a little while and you didn't follow all these steps uh, you might be watching this video thinking oh my god I've done it all wrong but don't worry these are just steps to make it a little bit easier for you and your guinea pig. If you didn't do them all you can always try new bonding and taming activities with your guinea pigs and with a bit of time and effort they will grow to love you. So that's all for this video guys. If you did enjoy it then let us know by giving us a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel it means so much to us. I'd love to hear more about you and your own piggies so leave a comment below if you want to tell us about taming tips that you did with your own piggy. Any questions as well just pop them in the comments below. I've been replying to all new questions on my channel lately. So that's all from me and the piggies. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!